Okay, well, we have danced around the subject long enough, I think. We've talked about morality, morality in games, game mechanics with regard to morality, and so on. But it's high time to take the bull by the horns, jump into the deep end and any other metaphor I may have forgotten, and jump right into the controversy. Religion is in a particularly odd state in gaming at the moment. On the one hand, you can't go into a game without reference to religion being bad, oppressive, backward, and uh, am I missing anything? Oh, right. Anti-sex. On the other hand, you can't seem to get through a narrative game without it reminding you of these views. Yet for all the negatives, games are quite possibly the most god-haunted medium. Because so many narratives are rooted in fantasy settings with made-up religious lore to sci-fi settings with fantasy religions of aliens, games feature some imaginative religious lore. At the same time, unless the religion is an alien, pantheistic, or pagan religion, the lore is contextualized as having a bad influence. As always, there are exceptions, but the trend for the most part holds up. As usual, this is not an analysis of the community or any individual's attitude toward religion. My interest is purely in the final product. It is true that there is a depressing cross-section of those who play or develop games and those who seem to hate the concept of religion and religious people. But even games that seem to want to be fair to religion seem to suffer from these issues as well. Having played games that try to be fair to religion and games that are hostile to it as well, and everything in between, I think I can safely say this though. Whoever does religion in these games simply doesn't get religion. At all. Okay, okay, I know I said I would jump right in, but honestly, I'm not quite sure where to jump, per se. We have been discussing morality for the past few videos, so I think I'll start there. Eh, we'll see how this goes, I'm just winging it. Religion and morality. Developers seem to have some confused notions about how religious people interact with moral precepts and religion. In particular, devs seem to focus on relevatory aspects that seem to them questionable, primarily focusing down on precepts that clash with their held beliefs. I suspect that part of this stems from their own view of morality, or at least their implementation of such. As we discussed, moderns tend to look to themselves for the moral precepts that they guide their life by. And since they look to themselves to live by their moral code, they tend to project that same notion onto others. This is the first real difference between the modernists and religious people. Religious tend to look beyond themselves for moral guidance. Those who hold to religious views tend to evaluate moral truths against a trusted source, and when appropriate, defer to said trusted sources when there is a conflict between them and their own views. Religious see the morality bar as originating from outside themselves. They conclude that their own weaknesses and limitations conflict with the trusted source of moral truth and attempt to bring their own actions into line with said beliefs. This view fixes a standard of behavior outside of oneself, thus making it more objective and much more difficult to lower the bar without compromising the authority of the source. Not for lack of trying, anyway. And here is the first disconnect. Modernists can't figure out why religious people would surrender their reasoning, quote unquote, to dubious authoritative sources, and religious people can't figure out why someone would embrace a moral evaluation viewpoint, slipshod and fraught with the possibility of compromised morals. The disagreement about how to approach religion is, at its heart, a disagreement about the source and nature of morality. This disconnect manifests itself in a number of ways in games. For example, religion in games is often treated as okay-ish in terms of limiting it to a personal experience, but is almost always portrayed as bad when it has societal influence. This is due to the fact that modernists tend to view moral ways of life as originating in the self, and as a result, morals are and should be personal experiences. When religion is portrayed as having some sort of influence on society in games, it is often portrayed as holding back, damaging, or otherwise being a backward form of a society. Again, this is due to the belief that moral precepts originate in the self. A society that overly regulates moral precepts originating in religion harm the ability of the self to live by one's own precepts. Religion is best when regulated to the individual, yeah you get the idea. Religion often comes across as authoritarian in games. Seldom embedded in the narrative of games is the hero character or relatable characters having a religious orientation being a positive experience. Often the hero character is portrayed as agnostic or otherwise disengaged from the religious influences in the world in which he inhabits. It is even more apparent that this mode of thinking animates gaming narratives when one considers what gaming narratives consider good. Often the principles that good characters espouse are the principles of modernist developers without any recourse to any real moral reasoning beyond the blunt assertion of those ideas. This is especially true when it comes to aspects of so-called celebrity causes found in identity politics. The expectation of the player character is to hold and defend such beliefs against an authoritarian religious and political structure. Now obviously there are exceptions to these trends. There are games that attempt to be fair to religion while still critiquing religious concepts. Other games attempt to avoid controversy altogether by invoking a more pagan-esque quote-unquote religious landscape in order to have religious elements while avoiding invoking a real religious system. And it's also worth mentioning that a lot of these critiques are more targeted toward Western developers. Japanese and other Asian gaming narratives have a fundamentally different mix of pagan, Christian, and political influences that shape their worlds. In those games, religion tends to be interwoven into the narratives more organically, but show far more pantheistic tendencies. 
The purpose of all this is not just to gripe about deficiencies or the portrayal of religion in games. Developers spend a great deal of time working on the lore of their games, and it's a shame to see such wasted effort when the religious elements fall flat. Nevertheless, religions in games are a pale comparison because they miss the point of religion from a moral standpoint. People look to religion for moral guidance because religious know that a person attempting to work out morality for themselves is in great danger of tailoring morality to suit their own vices. People who work to aligning their inclinations with the moral precepts of their religion point to the improvement in their lives. They recognize that we as humans have things to work on, and for Christians that means God has some molding to do. And they especially mean themselves as well as others. They recognize that at heart we're terrible at being humans because we don't have a clue by ourselves what morality is when we use a go-it-alone approach. Doing it on our own results only in as many moralities as there are people. There are other considerations for why religion and religious elements fall flat in games, and we will cover them in more detail later on. You'll also see that there will be some overlap in topics because the relationship between morality, religion, history, and the human person are so intermixed that trying to find a starting point is very difficult. But for now, suffice it to say that there is a very deep disconnect between the presentation of religious moral elements in games and how real religious people approach morality and their respective faiths and that this stems from a deep division in how modernists versus believers approach morality and moral questions. As long as developers remain ignorant of this divide, religions and games will continue to be shallow projections of their own ideas, rather than representing the depth that religious lore has to offer. In fact, I know of a great resource on religious lore to help you get you guys started. That's all for now. Thank you, and I'll see you next time. Music